Hello guys and welcome back to episode 2 of my Wolverhampton Wanderers career mode. In the last episode we got through the to the semi-final of the cup. As you can see we're just uh, putting Harry Burgoyne on loan. And um, yeah, as for, we actually ended up winning the tournament. Uh, however, we uh, Roman says it's going to be out for 7 weeks after picking up a broken ankle in the final of that tournament. As you can see, we don't really have a backup centre midfielder. I decided to put uh, Gibbs White in there just for um, just for a bit, but I don't really fancy playing a 63 rated, um, <clears throat> a 63 rated bronze centre midfielder when um, my first game of the season is one of our hardest against Middlesbrough. But um, I first look at Emmy Hughes, uh, then I realise he's at the club since 2017, meaning, uh, yeah, we won't be able to sign him. Uh, I've started looking for Dizel, but then I realise he has got potential, but I realise um, <clears throat> he probably, he's not much better than Gibbs White, despite him having the potential. I end up just um, searching for the champ championship centre midfielders from 18 to 24, go past a couple of Ipswich players in and Adadeo Edun. Um, I'm just, there's not really any people that catch my mind here. I don't really, like, there's not many people that I'd go for before I find Nicholas Yanaris. Uh, not sure whether that's how you pronounce his name. Yeah, Yanaris. Um, I decide to uh, scout. Connor Cody seems to be the talking point of many transfers. Middlesbrough want him for 2.2 million. We do disallow it as he is one of our key centre backs for the season. Uh, but I think our team looks good. The only thing we need is a back is that backup centre midfielder, which we'll get with Yenaris. Uh, as you can see, Harry Burgoyne, our third choice goalkeeper, gets loaned out there to I forget who. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, to a random team. He'll hopefully come back and be good as John Ruddy's 30 years old and our backup, Akeem Ikeem, no idea, is, um, is 31. But, uh, Matt Doherty is our first choice right back, so he's not gonna get on it. Then Yanaris' as scout report comes back. And I'm just, and I'm like, okay, he seems alright, I'm just going to go for him. Um, I had a feeling that he'd be worth, like, 900,000, I'd probably get him for about 900,000 to 1.1 mil. Didn't really want to spend 1.1 mil on him. Um, but I decide to go for 750, as you can see, just rounding it up, because I'm uh, very OCD like that. Uh, as you see, they want 1.1 mil. We go for 950,000. Uh, just seeing whether they'll go in, go in for it. Uh, they still want 1.1 1. 1 mil. I'll go for 1 mil. And what I'm thinking, what, what can that extra 100,000 actually do for you? Like, what are you going to buy some uh, League 2 46 rated player? But... Yeah, I don't know. Um, we start negotiating with Yanaris. I decide to put uh, Sporadic as his squad role, as he's really only going to be playing until Samuel Size is back. Samuel? It wasn't Samuel, was it? I decide to just go for two years. Um, Samuel Size is the Leeds player, isn't he? I don't know. Uh, but, um, yeah. Uh, I see he's, he wants 19k, I decide to meet that and give him 500,000 in a signing bonus. I have a feeling he's going to go for it, he actually doesn't, uh, but I don't really care about all that stuff. So, I, so we've just signed a new central midfielder, while size is out injured, uh, he can join Ruben Neves and End Endaya. I think that's how you pronounce it, that's how the commentators pronounced it in the game coming up. So I'm just going to call him Endaya. But, uh, I guess you could say we were in, I guess you could say we were in dire need of a, def of a midfielder. Yeah, no, I'll leave. But, um, yeah, after that terrible pun, oh yeah, Burgoyne's gone to Doncaster. 
uh, we decide to go on here and actually sell some people. Uh, Doherty, he's, he's, yeah, I end up putting him on the transfer list because I realised we've got Dominic Iortha, who's quite young, we've got Carl Walker-Peters, who we've just signed, um, but, uh, yeah, um, it's something about, we have way too many centre-backs, I decided to put Courtney House on a lonely, loan list, uh, Ryan Bennett and I real and Des Landes will get back from loan on the left back. Uh, I decided, yeah, centre midfielders we're all right, other than the fact that I put Morgan Gibbs White on the loan list. Um, but uh, then I put uh, on the loan list uh, Embakare. Uh, no idea, but um, yeah, and. Uh, this uh the team's starting to take shape i'm starting to put a load more youngsters on loan and as you can see we're getting uh four strikers back at the end of the season but i just decide to um i just decide to uh simulate forward and get to our first match which is probably going to be one of our harder matches of the season against middlesbrough but um I don't. I wasn't going to change anything from the uh, cup, other than putting in Gennaris for size. But um, yeah, we Jordan Graham was it? I don't know. But um, yeah, we're we're just simulating. Luckily, it is at home, so we do have the home advantage. Believe it or not. Believe in it or not. Um, I don't know. But um. We get a 9 million offer for Ivan Cavaliero, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I was caught in two minds whether to actually accept this, because obviously he's our striker, but 9 mil is 9 mil. I end up uh, rejecting it just because I need him for this game, as it would, he would turn out to be a very big uh, figure. As you can see, we're just showing how terrible at passing I am with this Ruben Neves. Uh, but yeah, the championship is back and we kick off uh, shooting left to right as um, people on the radio would say. But uh, yeah, we're just passing it around, getting a feel for FIFA, you know. But um, yeah, uh, I was just checking my team whether I'd actually had everyone the in there the and Dyer plays it out to Douglas who gives the ball away to Stuart Downing yeah, on the left wing the Asomba Longa plays it back to Downing Downing gets in beside and plays it to Asomba Longa but it's a good save by Ruddy and it's cleared away in classic uh, Sunday League standard uh, Asomba Longa somehow gets through Cody um, good challenge by Douglas uh, goes out to Leadbitter who plays it through to Adama Traore and it's a good last minute tackle by Bolly uh, as he plays it out and uh, Costa gets in before tackled by George Friend who plays it back to Adama. Adama inside plays the ball, a somber longer, brilliant save by Ruddy and uh, we get a goal and we get they get a corner, comes to nothing, we get a goal kick and Dyer has the ball at his feet and uh, he plays it down to Costa. Helder Costa, I believe, before he's tackled, but they're currently actually uh, dominating us before we get our first chance of the game, and Cavaliero takes it well, and we go 1-0 up. Um, very well taken, and as you can see, we deserve it. They've had more shots. However, we are leading on possession with 65% to 35%, with an 100% shot accuracy. With one goal, one shot, one on target. Um, but uh, we haven't been booked, luckily, uh, for those two fouls. But um, but uh, yeah, we're kind of lucky for that. Middlesbrough get us underway, then we get a corner. Good ball in, headed away by them. Uh, a mistake from my centre back, and a somber longer has the pace to get past my whole defence. And uh, Endaya has no, has none of it, and absolutely tactical foul. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call a tactical foul on that. 
uh, I decided to bring on Carl Walker Peters for Doherty just to give him his debut and um, yeah but we're the, the last minutes of the game as you can see we win the ball back there uh, Carl Walker Peters does well uh, loses it again but Yanaris plays the ball out to Helda Costa and Ivan Cavaliero is from goal can he make it 2-0 and yes he can 2-0 in our first game um, and first game against Middlesbrough in the league and uh, we have gone 2-0 up and they're pr probably never going to get back there um, but Adama gets it on there we play the ball to Cavaliero again but he gets tackled uh, we knew that Adama was very quick, but Yanaris wins it back, plays it out. Cody headers down, um, and Neves, as you can see, gets the last touches on the ball as um, the referee blows for the final whistle. Uh, as you can see, Ipswich Town losing against Birmingham City, just in classic Ipswich fashion. Uh, we get the scouting updates, however. Uh, we say no to Aurelio. Uh, we're just going to say to e yes to everyone over 85, I believe. Uh, 94, definitely. 75, goodbye. And 78, goodbye. Uh, then our English scouting report. We go yes to 88, yes to 87, another yes to 87, and another yes to 87, and another 94. Um, but... Uh, we then have a uh, request from our 18-year-old left back. I decide to give him a go because you'll never know if you've uh, whether you've got a net new star of the league if you don't try him. But that is the end, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.